Hey everybody, Alex Terrace, HealthTaxReview.com. So in this video, I'm just going to touch on the fact that there is amazing studies, clinical studies and research done and being done currently with pulsed electromagnetic frequency, PEMF, um, and transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is basically using pulsed electromagnetic frequencies or magnetic field generators to basically affect the brain to improve and support the healing process uh, with Parkinson's and actually uh, other types of brain conditions. But in this video, I'm just gonna touch on Parkinson's. So in this art, and, and by the way, I would also like to add that there are two devices out there that you can actually purchase uh, affordably for home use um, or maybe for your clinic or center that can actually uh, greatly improve therapeutic outcomes for these types of conditions. So check out this link here and I'll put it in the description box below at earthpulse.net. This company actually makes a magnetic field generator, um, but they're really good at basically putting out some, you know, pretty good research information and summarizing it. So check out this article; it's really good. It goes over transcranial magnetic stimulation and what types of freq uh, frequencies or pulse rates, I should really say, uh, are they using or were they using in all these different studies? A lot of them are done at one hertz, uh, and now they're getting onto using ten hertz, uh, which is giving better results. And 10 hertz has also been shown to have accelerated effects on cellular healing uh, responses elsewhere in the body. So it's not surprising. It's tending to have a better effect on brain. And mainly it's acting on ATP and improving um, microcirculation on the surface of the cell membrane. And so that, of course, has then a cascade of effects on uh, helping the brain, supporting the brain and nervous system tissues, endocrine tissues. So it's a good summation here. I'm not going to get into it too much. Suffice to say, I wanted to bring to your attention that these types of technologies do exist and they do work. And so if you scroll down here, you can copy paste this right here into PubMed and that pulls up a full bibliography of studies all on transcranial magnetic stimulation, which again is a type of pulsed electromagnetic uh, uh, PEMF sort of therapy. So again, you can, these were also cut and pasted from PubMed. Um, so you can actually look up the bibliography here and just see all these amazing studies. So with this device, Earth Pulse, you can uh, choose and select the couple frequencies that they were using in those studies, or the pulse rate, I should say. It's technically not frequency, but it's a pulse rate. And then over here, uh, is another company. Now both these companies, by the way, I do sell. I'm a dealer for both these companies. People always wonder what I do or how I can, you know, spend all this time chatting with people on my website and helping people. Um, but I do sell these devices. To my knowledge, I research all sorts of different things. These are the only uh, real two like devices that can be easily used for brain support. Now this device from Almanji, it's a great Russian PMF company. Uh, they've done a lot of clinical research uh, with the brain in particular, and they've matched up all the different programs or frequency sets, however you want to look at it, that have been used in studies, and they put all that research into this device specifically designed for brain conditions, so not just Parkinson, but uh, there's some other, if you can see here that I'm highlighting, all these different sorts of other conditions as well. And then they go a little bit into protocols. If you want to see a little bit more of these protocols, you know, how you use it, they do summarize it right here briefly. And I can also send the manual to you if you're curious to take a deeper look. But um, it's a fantastic device. I think Dr. Pollock is just finishing or finished a case study. I got to follow up with that. A case study, clinical study with some people um, using this device. Uh, and others have been done in Russia, by the way. But this is super affordable um, and it, from the perspective that normally transcranial magnetic stimulation, if you're paying for treatments, it's going to cost, uh, say, on the low end, maybe like 10000 Really, you're probably going to have to be between ten to 20000 depending on the person and their condition and the extent of it. So it can get pretty expensive. But here's a great thing you can try at home. And that's pretty much it. If you have questions about you know, if these couple devices would be appropriate for you or if you just want to order some of these devices or anything like that, reach out anytime on my website, healthhacksreview.com, and you can live chat with me, send me an email. If you found this video helpful or you have questions, ask them below in my YouTube vid. And again, feel free to reach out anytime. Thanks for watching.